Okay, using HDR Light Studio 4 with the light paint feature provides a new way to light scenes in Keyshot. What we can do is launch Live Light and drag and drop the Audi file, which is an OBJ file, it could be a Collada file, and it was the same file we used to bring into Keyshot. So now I'm going to rotate the view. so we get an approximate match of the shot that's set up. Okay. Right, so that's my live light view set up. Now the next step is to go to the render settings and to tell HDR Light Studio that it's connected to Keyshot. Once we do that, the results that we develop here will match over here. So now we can start to light this car. I'll turn light paint on and I can click on the car and then you'll see that the lighting matches in Keyshot. So now I can interact directly with this vehicle to place lighting on its surfaces which I will quickly do. I won't create a work of art, it's just a, a demo we can zoom around in this view also to kind of get precise placements so on this wheel arch we'll put a nice highlight And everything I'm doing in this window here, we're actually seeing the results over here as well. We'll turn down the brightness of the background, make that nice and dark. And we'll go to rim mode where we shall place a light directly behind the car okay now the other great thing about light paint is not only do you place the lights using this mode but I can select them. So this light on the side of the car in the actual key shot view isn't as bright as I'd like so I'm going to right click onto this light over here and it using reflection mode and it will select that light. So now I can brighten that light to get it brighter there. And on the windscreen here I feel that's a bit too bright so I shall right click and then I can turn down that light to reduce its effect. Now I think we're just missing one nice light on the corner here just to bring a bit of brightness onto there. Okay so there you have it, we've just lit this vehicle really quickly using light paint by loading the same OBJ file into here, placing the lights directly on the surfaces and we've got perfect results in Keyshot. Thanks for watching.